These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. Alright, what's up everybody? It's Grim Green back here and today I'm kind of just going to start talking at you because I want to try to get you everything you need to know about the upcoming FDA Supreme Court case because it is kind of wild. So this all basically started in 2020 when FDA denied to the market over a million PMTA applications for flavored e-cigarettes, including bottled e-liquid, saying they don't meet the requirements to be sold. Well, two companies, Vaptasia and Triton Distribution, fought back and won in a lower court, the Fifth Circuit Court. And that Fifth Circuit Court really laid into the FDA, accusing them of changing rules at the very last minute, calling those rule changes arbitrary and capricious, pointing out that the FDA said that the market plans were going to be a critical part of the PMTA process and then those marketing plans didn't even get looked at before they denied the applications. Well now the FDA is challenging that decision and that decision is what's going to the Supreme Court. What's kind of crazy here is that the Supreme Court isn't just looking at this one case. Because of the Chevron deference falling, they're considering a change to how much power regulatory agencies like the FDA have to begin with and how much power they have to interpret laws from Congress. If the Supreme Court sides with Triton Distribution and Vaptasia, this is obviously huge for the vape industry in the United States, but it also is going to mean huge changes at FDA. I was just watching Brian King from the FDA's Center for Tobacco Products testify in front of the House Energy and Commerce Committee. Just last week, FDA and CDC released data showing youth e-cigarette use is at the lowest it's been in a decade. These are monumental public health wins. But as we move forward on this progress, equipped with a new five-year strategic plan, we face a critical resource challenge. CTP is 100% funded by user fees, which have not been updated by Congress to reflect the realities of the current tobacco product marketplace. And his argument basically boils down to, well, we're going to take credit for all of the successes and any of the failures, well, that was caused by low funding. All the illicit vape products, that's, we just, we don't have enough money to enforce. We just need more money. We need more funding. It's not a failure of our policy. This lawsuit is alleging that that is a failure of their policy. This isn't just about Triton or just about Vaptasia or just about vapors or just about flavors. This is essentially the future of tobacco harm reduction in the United States. FDA won't be able to just make up new rules without a clear mandate from Congress. And they might be forced to completely restructure the entire PMTA process up to the Supreme Court's standard or up to the Supreme Court's satisfaction. Obviously, if literally anything happens with this and as this unfolds, I'll try to get as much information out there for you as I can. As of right now, there isn't a date for this. The Supreme Court scheduled fills up pretty quickly and from what I understand both October and November are kind of full at this point so possibly something at the end of the year but most likely something in early 2025. I'll have some more resources and links in the description of this video pertaining to everything I was talking about. I am on the edge of my seat about this Supreme Court case. I'm sorry, one last thing. If you smoke cigarettes, hi, you should switch. Literally all of the science says you should and it's never been easier. There's a world of safer nicotine products out on the market in the description of this video. In addition to resources about the Supreme Court FDA case, I'm also gonna put some more links. Just science, just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free literally every single day. <coughs> It's like 10.30 and then I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so 